hello and welcome today we'll be making this uh, small like simple filter search uh, this is uh, like a model from uh, on figma we will have some buttons and when we click a button this will like, fetch the uh, certain cards or blog posts whatever you want to call it for example if i click mountains then it, it should get me these two if i click deserts it should this should get me this 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 and if i click all this should show me all the posts <coughs> we will be making it in react so at this moment i have uh, what you can call a boilerplate code that you get from create react app i have deleted all the extra stuff from this um, uh, let me just show you uh, it has an app component i have created multi uh, two different files one is card that i will be using to create these cards and one is button that i will be using to create <coughs> these buttons uh, apart from that i have this index.js we will not be using it needing it so we i have this data.js that has uh, some data regarding the um, each blog post or card whatever you want to call it it has an id an image url that i have uh, imported here and then it has a category that it has title then it has title then description uh, just like this so it has an image uh, that and then it will have a uh, title uh, and some description and the id and category are used for um, you can say calculation purposes nothing different than this is index.html uh, nothing here also i just changed the title of the app and just like deleted a couple of things that were boilerplated from create react app so we will not be needing this one also and uh, i have the simple very simple css uh, in i removed the inherent margin and padding and box sizing to border box and this font family and some things like adding a background and this and this so at this moment i just have this like filter search and this is like the app dev from the app component so <coughs> let's start uh, working so first of all this is card and this is button okay so uh, we will be having let, let's just create a complete like all of these like uh, that for that i will be using all the cards i'll be passing this data array to as a prop to this card element component sorry and i will be receiving it here this is all cards and what we will do now is um, we will map through or uh, map through all of these and uh, create and uh, create an array <coughs> so we can call it cards and all cards is now an array and we can map through it and we will grab each card and we will return return a div that has will have a class name of card container it will have an image that will have a source of card dot image and it will not be a string but will be so whenever you need to use a javascript inside the jsx this is called jsx not the html in react so you need to use these curly braces so after that you can use alt or not whatever you want to we have another div we can give it a class name of uh, card details we will have an h2 for title and that will have title and a paragraph for description 
card dot description okay so i have the cards here and we can render it let's see nothing here because i have not saved app.js now i can see all the uh, images and the uh, title and other stuff description but since it is not uh, styled in css so it is very ugly okay so we have a small warning here that uh, is easily fixed let's just go to our card and uh, remember we used id for every uh, you can say object so when we are creating our div we can give it a key prop key uh, whatever you prop or anything card dot id now it should go away if i refresh okay so it is now gone okay so there is that apart from that i think we can now just go ahead and uh, give this a uh, little bit of styling okay so let's just give this also a class name of all cards okay now we will go to our app.js we'll grab that all cards and we will like display grid and grid template columns and i will have um, two so we can have to one fr this means it will have two columns and one fraction of space to each of them um, uh, wait a second then we will have grid cap of some 40 pixels and then so i think yeah this is still ha this has like divided itself into grid but since we but it is going like out of this uh, div this app div so this is this will be fixed let me just uh, margin 0 rem 3 rem for the left and right margin and justify content center and uh, align items center so this is now aligned into center but it is still going uh, outside the div so for that we will get the card container and we will just um, since like uh, background color we gave it a background some uh, different background this one so it has this background color now if we check hmm, card container let's just make sure the spelling is correct it was correct indeed mm, let's we'll see what's wrong later border radius we will be 10 bits okay so it has this but since uh, the picture is above it we cannot see it here but we can see it here okay now for the image you you can see the the image is outside the div but these are not so if i just mm, grab the uh, card container image and set the width to 100 percent i think this should fix yeah this fixes the problem now it will fix the but mm, this is also okay but we have like some space around so we will not do like 100 percent it's 95 percent and for the top uh, there may be better ways to do it but just i'll just add margin top some uh, 0 0.5 frame okay so 
this now looks like this hmm. okay, we need to make this white and need to add the border radius for to the image border radius 10 pixels and then so I wanted to make like give it a little bit of effect when we hover it we can uh, cursor pointer and now we can add a little bit of hover and what we can do is trans form scale 1.06 or something so what it will do is we hover it hmm, sorry this one it will scale it out but okay we need to add the transition property 0.2s is in out hmm, still not working why All. transition okay, this is transition not transform Come on. okay now it's it has some slight here so we can just decrease this oh my god decrease this to 0.4 m uh, much better i think okay now for the card details we can change the color to white this will change the color of both of them to white then card details Two, you can font size 18 pixels and margin of 0 0.7 and 0 so this will add some margin to this and you can add some margin button to this one also um, P and in this font size to this and uh, this will not have margin on both side but only on the button margin bottom mm, still already looks much better now I'm not sure if this also has a font family of Rodana mm let's just check yeah it already had because I inserted it in the app so everything inside app should have the same um, thing so I think we are pretty much done with the cards or blog posts whatever you want to call it uh, let's just go ahead and add some buttons now like these so for buttons i have a different component button.js uh, okay so what we need to do is we need to have some i'll make it a little bit dynamic uh, if i go to data.js uh, i will have buttons um, that have something to do with the categories so if I go in it, it has three categories at the moment mountains deserts and beaches and they repeat themselves so if I go to app.js and uh, here if I cats get it for categories and if I um, do this data dot map and card and return a card dot category and console log 
cats so what it should do is now it will it has like like eight mountains desert in and now but they are repeating now so we do, i don't want them to repeat for and i also need one more that has that is all like this uh, so now it has all and an array of it but i don't want an array inside an array you can use this i think this should probably solve the issue okay now we have an array of nine elements that are all mountains but we i can i don't want to have all nine of them i just need to apply a set to this these so i can say uh, i think new set and pass this inside it should solve the problem yeah so now i have an array of four elements four uh, whatever you want to call them i call them elements when uh, all mountains deserts and beaches so whatever uh, that occurred more than once is now just appearing once because it is a set it does not uh, give you back the uh, recurring reoccurring elements so now i have categories in uh, this now i can pass this categories down to my button component categories i can pass the cats and here i can receive categories and then const uh, all buttons or simply buttons since i don't have and i can go through categories dot map category for each category i will return dot uh, button container and inside will be a button and that will have uh, okay that will have uh, here category category and uh, it should also have uh, let's just see if we are getting the buttons properly it should now render the buttons um, where is okay I added them in at the bottom app.js let's just put this here we have all the buttons mm, we will add the CSS later for now let's just do another thing let's just get rid of this console log now whenever we click a button we want to get the uh, this is a card okay whenever we click a button we want to get the we want to check which button is clicked so uh, for example, we can handy click It will pass the category also No, I will call this From here and pass the category here. Okay, so I will also need to handy click as a function receive it from app.js and create a function here let's const uh, we'll call it handle filter or it's simply filter uh, 
and uh, let's just console dot log whatever we are receiving here we can call it cat and we will also need to pass this function as handle click filter i think this should do what uh, what i what it does it does it it has a now uh, i have function filter that receives a parameter as cat and then just console logs it and i'm passing this function down to my button component and in my button component receiving it as a name of handle click and whenever i click the button i'm passing down the category that the button was clicked on to the to this function and then the, it will just console log i think it should do yeah so it is doing whatever i click it just prints out the same category okay so we have that uh, after that what we can do is we will have to import what we call use state okay so const and uh, cards uh, do i have the cards anywhere else no set cards it will have set use state it is a use state and the initial value of card will be data okay so after that when i click the function what it does is it will uh, set cards and i will filter out the data dot filter and it will take my let's just call it item and if item dot category is equal, equal to cat it should return this otherwise and here it should also be cards now so basically whenever we click something it will bring the uh, that here and then there's still this filtering yeah it is properly doing that okay in the button yeah so there there's a warning the same we can have an index here just for the sake of handling that warning we can pass this key inputs. so this should get rid of that okay so basically what we are doing now is uh, whenever we click it just triggers this function and passes down the category that will contain either one of these three one of these four so when we go to our app.js we, we just filter out the uh, items from data that has the, that that have the same category that we just clicked on and we just set the all cards uh, with the same thing but uh, the only thing that remains now is when i click all again it does nothing because it has no functionality according to this one there is no fun there is no category in the data with all so we can just simply test if cat equal equal to all we can set cards with data and return from here don't go further so now if i call uh, it is bringing all the stuff back so i think that's what uh, this video was about so if you want to stay longer you can to check the css of these buttons a little bit so let's now make these buttons a little bit more not ugly uh, okay so what did i name
I can just name these um, all buttons or something. All buttons. This is just to like add a display. All no buttons. We can display flex and justify so when i when we display flex they, it will put it like this and if i justify content center should bring them in the no it it, it aligns them vertically and if i align i center it should do this the space between sorry uh, this is the space between from it will push them all the way there now if I add some margin like 2 rem and uh, do I need yeah so it will push them a little bit farther from both sides and add some margin to top and bottom okay so after that you can go ahead and grab the button itself and first of all you will add some padding to make them a little bit bigger since they are just of the si same size of the text right now. now if we add some padding this will make them a little bit bigger okay and after that we can add the background color of mm, what we had here so I will not add it like this I will add it like this one and add some RGB to it Let I will show you why later uh, RGBA and it is 0, 32 and 63 was it and 100% right there okay and after that we will have border none color uh, white border radius 10 pixels and font weight uh, 300 and font size 1 rem cursor point pointer and let's see okay so they look much better and you know what we can do and I don't like it this way if I talk to can I use this here yeah it look much better okay so uh, we were we, we were and yeah have dot js so uh, so uh, why we uh, why I added the color like this because I was going to apply a hover and for hover I just will change the opacity of the background color so from like maybe 40 percent here and we hover we'll make this like 80 percent hmm? did i not save it okay 400 percent my bad okay okay this is coming all the way and we can add transition 0.2s all is in much better okay so now when we click we get this so that's pretty much it for what we were doing um, we can also add uh, some media screen queries if we want to like for example 
media only screen and max width 1045 pixels what we can do is now we can get them like change the number of columns in the grid or stuff like that let's just grab the all cards for now and let's just let's just make this three and yeah as we as I just change it to you can see the size of the screen here and when it crosses 1045 pixels it just changes to two columns you can see so it is a little bit responsive I don't know why buttons are not responding the same way uh, so what else we don't need to display grid again grid gap we can like leave this for now we can just we don't need all these so what else we can do is we can also decrease the font size of different stuff uh, like h2 and p here with uh, or maybe increase because uh, the size is increasing and this to like 14 we don't need to change this stuff whatever we don't need to change we don't have to mention it here and we can change the app margin also uh, 5rm okay so this is like a small interactiveness of the screen if you decrease it what too small 14 pixels okay now it's you can say and we can even go further and like make this uh, some like 600 or 400 700 or 800 like we can go 850 and one simple <coughs> we can also change the uh, grid gap this time to something like we had it 40 25 pixels and uh, we can also increase this to 36 because it will have more space now like this one so now it has three columns and we decrease it to 1045 pixels it has two and decrease it further it has only one so that way if you go to mobile it has like this uh, bigger screen it will have like this i don't know why the buttons are not working the same way um, i think that is pretty much it for this video i hope i was able to propagate some knowledge thank you goodbye